Welcome back to Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani with today's ETF Edge. Bank ETFs are in focus. The regional bank ETF is down 32% this year on the heels of what started as a concern over depositor flight and higher deposit costs and is now morphing into a concern about credit, particularly in commercial real estate. So where is the money flowing? Let's talk to Reggie Brown. He's the principal of GTS. This is one of the world's largest market makers, and Reggie in particular heads up that ETF trading division. Reggie, the S&P 500 uh, financial ETF, it's down, what, 5% this year? But the bank ETF, a, a basket of stocks, money center and regional banks, down 24%. The regional bank ETFs down 32%. Sort this out for us. Where is the money going and coming from? Well, look, I think, well, first of all, have me. I think largely, if you look at the ETF sector in itself, the regional banks, a lot of problems, stocks on fire, and the ETFs represent that move. I think a lot of flows are going into uh, value people buying into the regional players. I think they have an opportunity to make a return. So we're seeing a lot of advisors by uh, the regional banks, in particular, on a value play. So you talk about KRE down and, and the other ETFs. I think largely I think about the mindset that there is value in the marketplace and we're seeing ETFs, buyers going across the line, notwithstanding the 15 and 20 percent moves in some of the individual names. It takes a big stomach even for a value player to buy in here. The regional bank shares prices are dropping fast, but, but there have recently been notable inflows, for example, uh, into the regional bank ETF. Now, why is that happening? Are there short sellers? Explain to us, why are people putting lo what looks like more money into the bank ETFs so, at a time when the prices are dropping? That's a great observation. If you look at, like, Zion Bank, for example, the 30-day uh, the option vol is at 100 or so. And so if you look at the ETFs themselves, if you look at the ETFs and how they're moving, uh, there are short sellers in ETF. In order to short sell, you have to borrow shares. So there's something called long and lend, where we're creating shares for short sellers to go out, borrow to sell short. So the uh, shares outstanding is not a good indicator because the short interest is rising. Yeah, that's a problem. Short interest is a big issue. Now, we're going to have a lot more on flows into and out of financial ETFs coming up on ETF Edge at 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time. Reggie's going to be joined by Kevin Simpson, Portfolio Manager to Capital Wealth Planning. That's etfedge.cnbc.com.